各位同学，大家好，我是蒋小珍，欢迎收看今天英文翻译课程第四次播出。上次我们谈了翻译的标准，今天我们进一步来谈谈直译与意义。首先介绍一下跟我一块主持节目的 Charles 老师。Hi, Charles. 那各位同学，大家好，我是魏查德，谢谢你们观赏。好，谢谢老师。那我们今天看今天的啊这个翻译原理部分 ，Part One, Principles of Translation. Hi, Charles. How do you say 直译与意义 in English? Now、oh, there's literal translation and free translation. Uh huh. So, uh, 我们看看啊，通常我们说。听到有关于这个直译与意义，那么怎么区分呢？直译，我们说 literal translation， 就是指译文复合原文的语言结构，几乎是逐字来翻译。那这种翻译对原文是很信实、很忠实哈。但有时候呢，它会忽略译入语的语言习惯，往往会显得好像生硬不顺，没有办法做到达的标准。那有时候呢，这种。嗯，批评这种方法被批评成为是一个硬意死意哈，所以直译就是要求表达原文字面的结构与含义。那这种在译文跟原文在形式上相似，我们说 resemblance in form。那么什么是意义呢？意义 free translation 就是说译文以相当自由的方式，不受原文语言结构啦以及字面。啊，这个意思这种束缚，那把原文的内容意思表达出来，它比较偏重要去符合译入语的习惯，还强调达的标准，所以呃，译的效果是比较清楚、比较明白。但是呢，对原文的忠诚度可能会减弱，所以意义它强调译文与原文在内容上相似 ，resemblance in text。英文句子译成中文的时候，有的时候直译与意义非常类似哈。我们来举些例子，让魏老师念英文，我来翻成中文，我们试试看。It was a very interesting experience. 这个句子我们直译跟意义都是一样，我们一个字一个字来翻。它是个很有趣的经验哈，几乎是一字对一字的，这是一个直译意义都可以的。看下一句。He lived a rural life. 他过着乡村生活，几乎每个字都对起来了。好，直译意义都一样。我们再看一句。The farmer scattered the seeds. 农夫播种。你看到没有？每个字都对起来了哈。这是直译跟意义的呃方法。The children swarmed into the zoo. 孩子们蜂拥进入。动物园，每个字都对起来了。这直译意义，他们怎么译？这两个方法都是类似哈。那么这些句子当中，我们刚刚看了，几乎是 word for word， 一个字一个字。那译文跟原文意思一样，很清楚明了。可以说呢，既信又答。可是呢，哎，并不是所有的译文和原文都可以做到既中且答哈。我们举个例子看看。它就要区别了，是要用直译或者意译。我们看这一句 ，Let's go Dutch。如果直译表面上来看，我们去荷兰的，就听不懂什么意思了。这个状况我们叫意译，把意思翻出来，意思是我们各付各的去餐厅吃饭啊，大家各付各的。Let's go Dutch。好，下一句 ，Love me, love my dog。这也常听到讲哈。那照字面上来说的话，爱我，爱我的狗，好像不大清楚哈。那我们用意义讲，看看你是不是比较了解？爱屋及乌哈，这我们都了解了。好，再看一句。Birds of a feather flock together。我们先直译看看，照字面来翻，同羽鸟哈 ，feather 是羽毛嘛 ，flock together 相聚集，飞在一起。有没有比较好的意思呢？我们用意义来试试看，物以类聚或者臭味相投哈，这个我们就比较清楚，所以意义就胜过了直译。好，我们再看一句 
I always have butterflies in my stomach before an examination. 好，我们现在做一遍直译，一个字一个字来看看哈。在考试前，我总是有蝴蝶在我胃中 ，butterflies in my stomach。照字面上译，真的看不懂是翻的什么呃什么意思。所以我们来译译看看哈。考试前我总是非常紧张，胃里面有蝴蝶，很不舒服，很紧张的意思哈。好，我们看下一句。If he announced that he would not run for mayor. It would pull a rabbit out of a hat. We can look at the dictionary to see what it means. If he announces he will not run for mayor, he will pull a rabbit out of a hat. Hey, this is a little strange. What does it mean to pull a rabbit out of a hat? We are not very clear. Let's try to translate it. If he announces he will not run for mayor, he will pull a rabbit out of a hat. Let's try to translate it. 很多魔术师在变的时候，把帽子里面会拉一只兔子出来，就让人非常 surprise， 很惊讶哈。意思是这样子的。所以我们看到哈，有些英文句子翻译成中文的时候，可以同时使用直译与意译两种方法。你觉得用直译看得不是很清楚，那你就要用意译了哈。我们刚刚看有一种是全部直译，意译完全类似。那一种是说他用呃这个直译不清楚，要用意译。那什么时候用直译意译呢？我们另外举例子，在一个句子里面，你可以选择一部分你用直译哈，一部分用意译，就把意思讲清楚了。好，我们来看一下。When she gave the speech, she was on pins and needles. 我们来翻翻看，当他演讲时，哎，这是直译哈。When she gave the speech， 一个字一个字翻出来。下面说，他很紧张，这意义的原文是说他好像是在针哈，这个 needle pin 这个小针头上。那我们就说他很紧张，这是意义。所以把两种方法都放在一起。再看另一句。I walk on eggshells around her to make certain I am always welcome. 我们来试试看啊。我小心翼翼的在她身边。什么叫 walk on eggshells？ 同学 ，eggshells 就是蛋壳，非常小心，怕把踩碎，对不对？所以就是意义说，哎，我小心翼翼的哈，这个直译就不好了。那么下面一句，以确定自己总是受欢迎的，这就直译了。所以把两种方法都放在一起。再看一句 ，I know you're angry, but don't start with me. I've had a bad day. 我知道你很生气，哎，这是直译哈。但可别找我出气，我今天也过得很不顺。I had a bad day 哈，那就把意义翻出来，就是我今天一个很不好的天，这样翻也不是很好。你说，哎，我过得很不顺，意义出来就好了。好，我们看下面。The new air base has proven to be a white elephant. 来翻翻看，新的空军基地已证明是，好，这个都可以用直译一个字一个字翻出来。下面说 ，to be a white elephant。花费昂贵而全无用处，这是意义。就是说，古时候那个象是白色的象，很珍贵，可是呢，用途不大。就是说，花费很昂贵，可是没有用，来修饰这一个新的空军基地。所以，我们看一下，你把直译跟意义同时放在一起了。After Mr. Wang delivered a speech, we all gave him a big hand. 好，这是我们常常说的哈。王先生演讲后，这直译。我们说啊 ，Let's give him a big hand。我们跟他鼓励一下。字面是说给他一只手，是不对了。我们意义说啊，为他鼓励哈，为他鼓掌，这是常常用的。所以呢，我们觉得直译与意义哈，呃，不必要坚持哪一者比较好。那其实它都是可以看状况而翻的。好，那我们先休息一下。如果你问我说，直译跟意义哪一个比较优呢？其实我们说不必要坚持谁比较好，因为有些句子很显然，他用直译就可以了哈。有些句子呢，你一定要用意义。所以直译与意义两种方法应该是相互来搭用的，搭配使用。嗯，你要看上下文，要看题材，看读者，看译文的词汇、语法、习惯等等哈，来做决定。
总之，我们可以说哈，译文首先要正确的表达出原文的内容，并求其很顺畅。至于形式的表达啊，可以列入第二顺位来考虑。好，现在我们到 famous quotations 中外名言部分，指鹿为马。Thinking black into white. 意思说，你把黑色想成是白色啊，指鹿为马。好，下一个，杯弓蛇影。Taking every bush for a bugbear. 就你把每一个树从 bush 把它想成是个 bugbear. What is a bugbear? It's like a ferocious,、uh, fearsome. Creature, so, something like a devil. Oh, 让人很害怕的东西，像是 devil 一样，就是你那个看到一些树丛说，哎呀，有恐怖的东西，其实没有哈。这是一个我们的英文这么说。好，我们再看下一个。昙花一现。A nine-day wonder. 嗯哼，下一个。防范未然，未雨绸缪。To nip something in the bud. Nip 说，呃，摘的意思哈，把一个东西摘起来，其实 in the bud， 在花还没有开，花蕊的时候把它摘起来，就是还没有开，你就把它弄坏，弄坏了，我们叫做防患未然哈，未雨绸缪。好，在下面，大海捞针。A needle in a haystack。你看这图片，有一只针在一个很多的这个稻草里面哈，要找它确实很难找到哈。好，这是我们今天呃介绍的这中外名言部分。呃，下我们看一下我们的 vocabulary and expressions. Hold it. 等等，不要动。Bite. 咬，一口之量。Parrot. 鹦鹉。Sign. 招牌。Remind. 提醒。Unlikely. 不可能。Best to play it safe. 不要冒险。Familiar with. 熟悉。Dumb. 哑的，不会说话的。Creature. 生物，动物。Stuff. 甜，塞，使吃的过饱。On purpose. 故意。Readily, 容易的 Never ending, 无休止 Struggle, 挣扎对抗 Scales, 刻度秤 Snap a picture, 快照拍摄 Press, 按压 Button, 按钮好，那这是我们今天绘画的单词部分。我们现在来看我们的 dialogue 英文的绘画。Hold it! What are you doing? This last few bites of my hot dog, I can't finish. So the parrot over there can have them. Not a good idea. See the sign? Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. It's unlikely to eat the meat. But what bird doesn't like bread? Best to play it safe. The keepers are familiar with them and what they should or shouldn't eat. No argument about that. And maybe these dumb creatures can tell what's good for them better than we can for ourselves. The only time they ever get fat is when people stop them on purpose. Which we readily do to ourselves. I face a never-ending struggle trying to keep the scales down. Same here. Hey, can you snap a picture of me by the tiger's catch? If I can remember how to word this thing. Just press this button when I tell you. Ha, we just saw. 同学在动物园里面的呃一些对话，那真的是不要随便喂食给那些动物哈。那我们自己人呃，这个人也是吃东西要小心一点哈。好，那我们再看一下呃我们中文的部分。
Hold it. What are you doing? This last few bites of my hot dog, I can't finish. So the parrot over there can have them. Not a good idea. See the sign? Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. It's unlikely to eat the meat. But what bird doesn't like bread? Best to play it safe. The keepers are familiar with them and what they should or shouldn't eat. No argument about that. And maybe these dumb creatures can tell what's good for them better than we can for ourselves. The only time they ever get fat is when people stop them on purpose. Which we readily do to ourselves. I face a never-ending struggle trying to keep the scales down. Same here. Hey, can you snap a picture of me by the tiger's catch? If I can remember how to word this thing. Just press this button when I tell you. Snap. Charles, what does the sign say? Do not feed animals. Uh, do not feed the animals. Do not feed the animals. Where does this conversation take place? A convenience store, B jungle, C school, D none of these. 我们看, none of these. 应该是在一个zoo里面,比较类似。What is the chief topic of this conversation? A. Entertainment, B. Nutrition, C. Photography, D. Travel. 应该是B,Nutrition,他们讲营养食物。What does the woman show the man? A camera, B movie poster, C book, D snack. A camera. Mm -hmm. What do we learn about the two speakers? A they have just returned from a scientific expedition. B they enjoy romantic films with not so much violence. C they frequently experience unwanted weight gain. D they have always been fond of raising animal pets. See, huh? They frequently experience, unwanted, weight gain, 就是体重增加, Part four, let's practice. Uh, 句型翻译练习, 把刚刚这个绘画里面一些句型拿出来, 然后来做一些延伸的一些翻译, oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Oh, 是的, 感谢提醒我, 我们要学remind提醒, remind什么人of什么事情是什么想起来, 来我们试试看做一句。谁能提醒我明天要去哪儿? Can someone remind me where I should go tomorrow? Can someone remind me about where I should go tomorrow? 哪一个对呢? First one. 好, 第二个为什么错了? Uh, about, uh, that sounds like Chinglish. <笑> 我们刚才reminded of比较好, 你用about, uh, 提醒我关于什么事, 我们中文大概会这样讲, 可英文它不是用about的关语，它用of。哈，它老师说像Chinese有点我们中国式的这个英文讲不好，不到地。好，我们看有没有另外的翻法。Will somebody remind me where I ought to go tomorrow? 好，这个remind me where 哈，I ought to，我应该去哪？呃，明天去哪儿？啊，这个这样翻的不错。我们看下一句。这些好吃的食物让我想起了家乡，家乡我们讲hometown。The delicious food reminds me about my hometown. The delicious food reminds me of my hometown. We use of in this context. Mm, the second one. The second one. 
The scrumptious dish brings back memories of my hometown. What does scrumptious mean? It means uh, exceptionally tasty. 非常好吃的 ，tasty, exceptionally, 非常好吃的食物。你可以学一个字叫 scrumptious， 非常比较难一点的哈。好，我们看下一个。The keepers are familiar with them and what they should or shouldn't eat. 饲养员对他们相当熟悉，并知道他们什么能吃，什么不能。我们看是 familiar with， 熟悉的意思。来，我们做做看。你对这座古老的欧洲城市熟悉吗 ？Are you familiar with this old European city? Do you familiar with this old European city? 哪一个对呢 ？The second one sounds like Chinglish. 啊，第二个就是好像中文式的英文。你看 ，familiar 是形容词，用 be 动词。Are you familiar? 那 do 是用动词哈。这个 familiar 不是动词，不能用 do。好，这个不对了。来，我们看有没有别的说法。Do you know much about this old city in Europe? 好 ，know much about 是不是知道很多？就是不是很熟悉的意思哈？这也可以这样做。来下一句。我常来这里，所以相当熟悉这里的设施。怎么讲设施呢 ？Facility。好，我们来试试看。I come here very often, so I am quite familiar with the facilities here. I come here very often, so I am quite familiar with this with the facilities here. 哪一个对呢 ？The first one. 嗯哼，第二个哪边错了 ？Well, quiet is a different word. 嗯，对。Than quiet. Quiet 跟 quiet 不一样，很多人搞错哈。Quiet 是十分 Q U I T E。当你拼成 quiet， 不小心拼这样子的时候 ，quiet 是安静的意思，这边绝对不对哈。那 facility， 请你注意它用。Facilities, 它用复数哈，比较好。这里的设施，好，我们看看有没有别的说法。Since I frequent this place, I know its facilities quite well. 好，这个字 frequent 就常常到哪去的意思哈，就是 you often go to 一个地方，那 frequent 常常去啊，那很熟悉，知道 quite well。好，这是我们做 familiar with 的句型，下面。And maybe these dumb creatures can tell what's good for them better than we can for ourselves. 也许这些不能言语的生物比我们还了解什么对自己有益。我们来做 better than 比什么更好。他主修历史，所以对历史的了解比你还要好。He majors in history, so his understanding of history is better than you. He majors in history, so his understanding of history is better than yours. 哪一个对呢 ？The second one has got the parallel construction. That's what you need here. 第二句是对，它有平行的结构。譬如说 ，so his understanding of history， 他对历史的了解是名词，比什么好呢 ？Is better than yours. Yours 等于 your understanding of history， 这是平行的结构。第一句就错了。你怎么可以把一个 you 跟主词啊来比呢？不对，不对，要对历史的了解，两个名词互相比哈。所以第二题是对的。我们看另外的说法。With history as his major field of study, his grasp of it is better than yours. 好，我们看 major 哈，就是主你的主修什么东西。当你说 field of study， 就是学习领域哈。历史是学他主要的学习领域主修。那么 his grasp。刚刚是用 his understanding， 那了解 grasp 也是可以的。好，我们看下面，没有什么比好好的泡个温泉更舒服的了。我们看温泉叫 hot spring， 来做做看。There's nothing better than a nice soak in a hot spring. There's nothing is better than a nice soak in a hot spring. 哪一个对 ？First one。第二个错了。我们可以学学看。泡个澡，对不对 ？Nice soak, soak 浸的意思，泡的意思哈，在温泉里面泡。第二句有什么错呢？你看一个句子只能有一个动词，前面 there's 等于 there is， 已经有 is 了，后面这个 is 不可以有，是多的。我们另外做做看。Nothing can beat a pleasant dip in some hot spring. 嗯，这翻得很好哈，这赢过叫 beat 打败哈。Pleasant dip， 我们 soak 浸的意思哈 ，dip。好，我们看下一句。The only time they ever get fat 
is when people stuff them on purpose. When he was in a very bad mood and he annoyed his employer on purpose. When he was in a very bad mood, he annoyed his employer on purpose. Okay, uh, the first one, that and shouldn't be there. Okay. He would get cranky and deliberately irritate his boss at times. Cranky就是很生气的时候。那我们再看下一句。我是特地过来探望你体弱的父亲的。I came here on purpose to visit your weak father. I came here on purpose to visiting your weak father. 好,哪一个是对? First one. 第二个为什么错呢? Uh, if you're going to say visiting, you should say for visiting. OK,如果说 okay, for visiting可以,但to要用原形,用visit就好了,来另外做做看. I made it a point to stop by here and look in on your ailing father. 我们常说 stop by 就顺便过来。那这边是特地过来。那么ailing跟sick一样都病的意思。看下一句。Can you snap a picture of me by the tiger's cage? 你能帮我在老虎笼子旁拍照吗? 我们要学snap拍照这个字。一个路过的行人把车祸拍了下来。行人叫pedestrian。a passing pedestrian snapped a picture of the car accident. A passing pedestrian snapped a picture of the car accident. Now, of course, the second one. Diga S N A P E D put the double P Langa P snapped, huh? Brown Sunday just being snape put the snapped. A P P ha E D Ham Kan Kai you may leave my the uh fan fa. Someone who happened to be walking by caught the auto collision on film. 好,我们看车祸可以讲 auto collision, 撞的collision on film就拍下来了. 好,我们看另一句, 摄影师帮我拍了张好照片. Photographer就是摄影师. The photographer snapped a nice picture of me. The photographer snapped a nice picture of me. 好,哪一个对? First one. 第二个为什么错? Uh, in this case, you do have to have an article there. 要一个冠词, yeah. a nice picture. Huh? 好,我们另外来翻翻看. The cameraman shot a really fine picture of me. Mm -hmm. 那个我们说摄影师, cameraman, 可以这样说, shot就是拍照的意思. Huh? 好,同学,我们今天学了不少一些关于翻译的原理. Huh? 那也讲了很多这个直译啦,意义。那我们也看到影片蛮有趣的,同学演的也很好,在动物园里面。那这些practice部分你做了会不会呢?要用功一点,下次我们再见面,再来谈谈看翻译的原理跟练习。拜拜。